What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Mobility Flow. Today we're doing a full body focused flow to get you feeling good from head to toe for the week ahead for whatever you got coming up. So I'm going to be taking through a series of stretches. Each will flow into the next as part of a flow or a more dynamic routine. So if you hate slow, static, boring stretching, the same old, same old, staying stuck in one position for too long, don't worry. So do I. We are not doing that today. This is going to be fun. I promise it's going to fly by. So so this is the kind of routine that I recommend doing at least once per week, either at the end of a week of workouts to help you feel prepared for the week ahead, or tack it on to the end of an existing workout. If you're feeling a little bit tight, a little bit tired, a little bit like you're going to have a lot of soreness the next day, throw on to the end of the workout. Whatever you want to do, I recommend doing something like this at least once a week because it feels good for your body. So the way this is going to work is we are going to have a series of exercises. One exercise will flow into the next. Do your best to keep up with me. I'm going to be breaking it down step by step as we go. We're spending lots of time in each position, so there's no rush. All you need for today is yourself, your body, a bit of room to move around, and that is it. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up, and let's get into it. Getting into our starting position, I want you to start with your feet about two big steps beyond shoulder width apart, toes slightly flared out, nice tall posture. As a reminder, one move will flow into the next, so do your best to keep up with me, but don't worry, there's plenty of time for each movement. If it takes you a second to get into position, that is okay. So for now, let's get into this nice wide stance. Let's make sure that we are feeling ready, we are feeling focused, we don't have any distractions, because we are getting going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, dropping it down into a nice wide squat for me. Planting your hands on the inside of your knees. We're going to inhale. Then as we exhale, I want you to drop one shoulder in as we apply firm pressure out against that knee. So see where my fingers are tapping? A firm pressure down and out as we create space in the hips. Feel a nice gentle stretch through that inner thigh. A little bit of rotation through the spine. We're just warming up and easy into today's flow. hips should be feeling a bit looser. What we're going to now do is lower down into a lateral squat. So starting on the right side, sitting back at the hips, lowering as far as you can go. Try to get close to the ground with me, putting down your hands if needed. And once you're all the way down, I want you to really shift your weight to that right side, flexing that foot up, and again, shifting our weight to create space in the other hip. Bringing it back up and repeating just like that dropping it as far as you can using the hands as needed for support feeling the stretch in the right ankle and then pulling against that foot to create space in the left hip do your best to follow along with me there is no rush here this is all about quality over quantity pulling again bringing it back up and one more rep here I want you to stay with me at the bottom because what we're going to do now is shift your weight back onto this calf, onto the bum, drop the knee down. We are going to alternate between knee up, opening through the right hip, and knee down. Nice and slow, focusing on going between internal to external rotation with that right hip. Keeping a nice firm pressure on your hands on the ground, as well as on the right foot as we rotate in and out. From here, put that knee on the ground, taking a nice tall posture with me, hands by the knee. I want you to keep that back as flat as possible, lengthening through the spine, 
as we come into a forward fold. Just little reps, whatever is comfortable for you. It's okay if you deepen that range of motion as you feel more comfortable with it. squat because we're now going to flow those exercises together so lowering into the squat using your hands as needed shifting the weight back onto the calf first then onto your bum folding the knee down folding your body forward bringing it up opening through the hip using your hands or your weight to shift forward as we return to that starting position. So feel free to reset between reps, continuing down in the flow with me, feeling how good this feels through your hips, through your hamstrings, through your entire lower body. Let's finish up this rep of the flow, bringing it back up, get into that nice wide stance so we can now repeat on the other side. So lowering this time to the left, we're gonna be getting going in just about five seconds, you have a little bit of time to shake it out here to get mentally prepared for that other side and shifting over to the left. So dropping it down again into that lateral squat, shifting your weight to the side, flexing that toe up so we can really create space through this hip and then bring it back up. Taking it down, remember use your hands as you need to it's okay to have a little bit of assistance on these exercises as you're first getting used to them. And bring it back up, just like that. Focusing on feeling it through this ankle, this calf, this foot, and this hip. that knee drop. So you're going from here to opening up, keeping a nice firm pressure between your hands and the ground, as well as between the arch of your back foot and the ground. That's what's going to help you feel more comfortable rotating that hip open. It's okay if one side is a little bit more flexible than the other. I think this is my less mobile side. So just work through it with me. Don't worry if your range is short right now. We will get better at this over time. Drop that knee down to the ground, moving our hands forward slightly to be around our knee. We're going to go into those little forward folds. So remember, don't cheat this. Keep that spine long. Keep that back flat. No hunching forward to get lower in this stretch. And lowering just until you start to feel a little bit of discomfort in that stretch. Pausing for a moment, then bringing it back up. Making sure to maintain that good form that nice flat spine throughout.
right from there let's unwind here let's bring it back up to the top and we're going to go into our flow on the left side now so as a reminder we're coming down into that squat shifting our weight to the calf to the bum dropping the knee into the forward fold reverse and we're going to repeat whether you need to use your hands or just shifting your weight forward to get back up, come up to the top, taking it slow and going again through this flow. So remember it's calf, then bum as we shift the weight back, drop the knee, forward fold and bring it back up. We can fit in one more. Let's try it. Lower it down to the ground. Don't worry, this is just our transition time between exercises. And bringing it back up. Whew, okay. All right, so what we're going to be doing next is actually getting down to the ground into a kneeling position. So if you want, you can drop it down in the lunge with me. Drop that knee again and come forward to a nice hands and knees position. From here, we're gonna do is a kneeling spinal wave. So taking it back, hunching as we come forward, all the way into a nice cobra position. Big inhale, as we exhale, rolling it back. Inhale here, as we exhale, rolling it forward, Feeling this all the way from your back muscles, your lats, your armpits, your shoulders, to your spine and neck. All right, from here what we're going to do is plant your left arm down Put plant your right arm down and now drop to that left elbow. What I want you to do is drop the head, lean into the left elbow, feeling this open all the way down your back and shoulder and bring it forward. Drop it down, feel it down the side and bring it forward. Really feeling this through your back and shoulder muscles and putting your weight into that stretch. Take your left hand, put the top of your hand on the ground, plant your right hand just over those fingers. And I want you to make a looping motion with your elbow, all right? So not all of the weight is on that left wrist. We're also putting a bit of weight on our right arm, but we're using this to gently take our wrist through a full rotation, through a nice full range of motion here and feel a good wrist stretch. This is really good if you've been at your computer all day, if you get a lot of tension in your wrists, on the top of your hands, through your fingers. So just take this nice and gentle, drawing that circle with your elbow. You lie to yourself at times, Switch sides now, I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to get to the other side. So as a reminder, plant the left hand, plant the right hand. As we rock back, we're gonna plant that right elbow and it's going to come up like this, lean into that side to deepen the stretch, bringing it forward. As we rock back, planting that right elbow, bringing the hand back and leaning our weight into that arm, into that stretch.
back to the hands and knees, same thing on the right side, folding that right hand under so the top of your hand is facing down, left hand goes just over the fingertips, so not all of our weight is on the right hand, but you can control how much is comfortable. And now I want you to loop that elbow. Imagine you're drawing a circle with your right elbow as we take that wrist through a full range of motion, getting a nice stretch on all those wrists and little hand muscles, giving them some much needed relief from being at our computers on our phones all day. to do is now take your hands out into a V leg position. What we're going to do is our alternating side to side, bending one arm, lengthening the other. Feel a nice stretch through our chest, through the front side of our shoulders, alternating side to side as we go. As you lengthen the arm, I really want you to focus on dropping your weight into the shoulder of the arm that is straight and then switching sides as we go. our center position here. We're going to do a little open through the spine and then take this hand and thread it through, feeling this all the way along the back side of the shoulder now. Bringing it back up and alternating as we go. seconds to get into position for our next series of exercises here. So we're going to be starting in a nice tall kneeling position. We're going to go between opening through the chest, feeling this through the front side of the shoulder and chest, taking a big inhale and as we exhale, squeezing those shoulders forward, pulling the core in, feeling a stretch through the hip flexors. So it's inhale through here, exhale through here. I want you to really overemphasize these positions so that we're getting through that full range of motion and feeling that full stretch. reaching over, grabbing that elbow. What I want you to do is slowly rotate your neck away from the right elbow and towards the left. And then deepen that stretch, pull gently on the right elbow and lean to the left side. So for you, that's gonna mean toward the screen. For me, that's gonna mean toward the camera. You should feel a really good stretch all through your neck and trap muscles, through your shoulder, those areas that get really tense when we're sitting at our computers all day. 
So just keep repeating with me, folding that right arm back, looking towards me, looking towards the screen, and then pulling the elbow and leaning into the screen to deepen that stretch. Switching sides on that, so bringing the left arm up, folding it back, reaching over with the right arm, grabbing that elbow, slowly when you're ready, rotating the neck toward the right side. So for you, that's gonna be away from the screen. When you're ready, pulling on that left elbow, leaning to the right to deepen the stretch, so leaning away from the screen, really feeling this in those neck, those trap, the shoulder muscles. If you get any sort of tension headache, this should help a little bit. And bring it up when you're ready and repeating again. I like to reset between reps just to make sure that I'm keeping that proper form. I'm not holding anything too long here to the point of pain or discomfort. Let's come down and get one more rep in on this. So folding that left arm up, looking to the right arm, leaning away from the screen. All right, from here what we're going to do is come down to a low kneeling position with me. From here, I want you to plant your hands on the ground, keeping your weight on your hands. I'm gonna shimmy forward a bit so you can better see this. Weight is on our hands, big inhale. As we exhale, I want you to thrust your hips up, feeling a stretch in your shoulders as you do. Stretch through your quad, front of thigh muscles and hips, and then come back down. All right, this is all about staying in your range of motion. Whatever is realistic for you, just focus on driving those hips up and forward. previous one. So carefully flex your toes under if they were laying flat on the ground. Come back to that position. We're going to go from that extension again, up like that. And as we come down, I want you to push your toes into the ground and rock up into a squat. All right, as we take it back, you're going to feel the control, the stretch through your toes nice and slow. Coming to that extension and repeat using your hands as needed to balance on this exercise and making sure you're going nice and slow and controlled as you lower those knees back to the ground feeling every inch of that range of motion through your toes through your feet give me one more rep one more rock forward to the toes here up and control yourself on the way back down Again, we'll be building off of that low squat position for this next exercise. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to show you for a bit more for you. Coming from the low kneeling with our toes flexed under, I want you to rock back, feeling that stretch in your toes, until you can walk it out into a crab, all the way back, and then coming all the way back forward. So this is again, helping us with those toes, those feet, we're still getting a little bit of wrist, hand, and shoulder action here. Just taking it nice and slow until your foot comes all the way flat, and then walking it back forward. The feet, ankles, toes, these areas are so often neglected. If you have properly stretched feet, I feel like most of us just don't realize how good it feels to walk around, to run, all of that, and our feet are feeling good. All right, so what we're gonna do getting into our final exercise is walk it back for me. Step those feet forward if you got to adjust a little bit. And we're going to do a tabletop extension, nice and slow, thrusting those hips up, coming beyond parallel if you can, really feeling this in the shoulders, the wrists, the hips, before bringing it back down. Touch the bum, big inhale as you exhale coming through to that extension.
All right, and like that, we've made it through another full body flow. I hope your body is feeling better after that. I've been really trying to tailor these flows lately to areas that I know I personally struggle with after doing our workouts, especially when I spend the rest of my day sitting at a computer, at a desk, hunched over, even though I know I shouldn't be. So I hope your body's feeling good. I hope you're feeling more mobile, more fluid, more comfortable, more prepared for the week ahead. If you enjoyed today's workout, definitely let me know by shooting me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked most in the comment section down below. I loved that first flow. I have a lot of trouble with my hips, always, always. It causes me low back pain. So anything I can do to ease tension in the hips, I love. But let me know what you liked in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for working out with me and I can't wait for the next one.